Did you know that you can optimize the YouTube embed code so that it looks better and performs better on your website? Stick around. Embedding videos on your website can increase engagement, conversions, time on site, you name it. Plus any of those embedded views get added to your YouTube view count total. So it's a bonus all around. I'm gonna show you the changes I make to my YouTube embed codes and how I incorporate them into my WordPress pages. To WordPress. I've created a new page here in WordPress for this example. Now, I use the X theme by Themeco, so I'm not gonna use WordPress's basic editor like a peasant. I'm gonna build this page using X's cornerstone. First things first, I'm gonna go to my page settings and set the general template to blank, no header, no footer, and save my changes. That just gives me a bigger canvas to work with. Back in the layout tab, I'm gonna add my first section and call it optimized video. You'll see I have one row going all the way across, but I'm gonna split that up into columns by clicking here. Now you'll see that I have a two thirds column on the left and a one thirds column on the right. Next, I'll go over to the elements tab, find the embedded video element and drag it into the column I want. Once I do that, I can edit the properties of the element, starting with the embed code. You can find the embed code of any YouTube video directly on its watch page. Just click on share and then embed. Copy this code here and paste it into the embed code box of your video element. Your preview will update automatically. I also added a header and description text on the right column while you weren't looking. Now you'll see that my video has a border around it. That's because the no container option is set to off, which means yes. Turning that on removes the container and now my video takes up all the space in the column. I'm still not in love with this embed and here's why. First, there's this title at the top that gets in the way when you hover over the video. Plus, when the video is over, YouTube shows related videos, and I don't want that. So we're gonna have to make some changes to the embed code. Looking at the code itself, you'll see a YouTube URL in quotes. We're gonna add additional parameters to that URL to change the look and feel of the embedded player. Now, don't be thrown off by the word parameter. It's a lot easier than it sounds. When adding parameters, the first one always begins with a question mark and each additional one begins with an ampersand. So the first parameter I'm gonna to add to the end of the video URL is the rel equals zero parameter, starting with a question mark since it's the first one. Now when my video finishes, no related videos are shown and the viewers are more likely to stay on my website for the rest of their lives. The next parameter I'd like to add is show info equals zero. That removes the title bar from the top of the video. I just think it looks cleaner and it makes my thumbnail stand out on the page. Lastly, I'm gonna add auto hide equals one. That hides the player controls until you mouse over the video. So that leaves you with a really clean looking embed that doesn't serve up other people's videos. So here's what my embed code looks like now with those three parameters added. There are no spaces in the URL and it still sits comfortably inside those quotation marks. I just started my first parameter with a question mark and each additional one with ampersands. There are a number of other parameters you can add that I didn't use, but I'll put a link to all of them in the description below. Now that we have our video sitting pretty, I doubt you're gonna wanna do that every time you add a video to your page. So I'm gonna go to my layout tab and click on templates. I'm gonna name this optimized video left and save it to my library as a block, not a page. Now when I'm working on another page, I can easily insert that block into my layout by going into my templates and selecting the block I saved. Now I can easily swap out the video by replacing the video ID. If you look at any YouTube video watch page, you'll see a question mark V equals, and the string after that is the video's ID. Copy that ID and replace the ID in the embed code, which sits right in here between that slash embed slash and the question mark of our first parameter. Once you do that, the video will update and all the customizations will remain the same. I created three block templates for Cornerstone that I use all the time on my website. You can grab a copy of those Cornerstone templates for free by clicking here. If this is your first time on a VidSEO video, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, so think about it. And if it's the first time you've heard of X theme for WordPress, definitely check it out. You'll make your current theme your X theme.